YouTube POD7 here. I am going to move my computer closer to me. There we go. And today on Hunt for Gens, we are going to have a rush job here and play Ants Extreme Racing. Um, I say rush job because this is being recorded probably an hour before it's being put up on the day it's supposed to be put up. <laughs> According to my schedule, there's the sound. <laughs> so uh, this is the continuation of me having an un unhealthy uh, fascination with licensed games. Oh my goodness, look at all these things. Oh, here we go. Oh no, that's bad. Okay. Okay. So. There were this many characters and ants. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, whatever. But, uh, yeah. This may be the last, sorry about that, this may be the last Hunt for Gems that is played without a controller. I've been playing on my keyboard the whole time, and with Christmas money, I've decided to, what? <laughs> oh my gosh. But, uh, with my Christmas money, I decided to get a gamepad, and it's almost expressly for this series. Um, there might be a couple other games. Man, this guy will not get off of me. Jeez. Why do you bump so hard when you run into people? That's what I want to know. Okay, this is... As you can tell, this is pretty much a terrible Mario Kart clone. Um, that for some reason you can turn all the way around on. Um, it's not too hard. Um, I can't imagine anyone being a big enough fan of the movie Ants uh, to actually seek out this game and play it. But, uh, I mean, maybe there's maybe there's a Jennifer, Jennifer Lopez uh, diehard stalker fan that would play this just because she was in the movie. <laughs> and, I, and I am doing terrible. I am trying my darndest to play through this. Oh my gosh. You guys can see how far I'm bouncing off of everything, right? I think it's kind of funny that, uh, you bounce off all those, uh, twigs and stuff, but when you run into people, <laughs> you lose. Thanks, game. Game over. Wow. Oh, there's breaking in this game? I would have never known. See how this. Let's try it again one more time, and then that'll probably call it the episode. Because this is, it's a racing game. I mean, <laughs> okay. It said this guy had top speed, like higher speed than almost everybody else in the game. So why did it take so long to start? Oh my gosh. Okay, so apparently part of the game is. People just randomly mashing into you for no reason. Why even put the jump in the track if, uh, if you can't go off the course? Or if, or if, like, look at this, this guy's just running into me over and over again. <laughs> This is silly. 
I hope my voice is picking up on the mic. Um, if not, I'll just come back in and post and do some post commentary. Um, how am I doing worse in a car that is technically better? I feel like they're more out for my blood this time. It doesn't help that whenever you turn, you're literally turning like 90 degree turns with your car, it feels like. Oh, come on. I would like to know how they keep turning me around and stuff. Okay, now we're in front. Oh, what? Are you serious? They have slippery physics in this game? <laughs> oh, whatever. It's ants racing, what do you expect? <laughs> uh, I can't even imagine the poor soul that plays all the way through that game. No. Uh, sorry for the shorter episode. Uh, I met my friend Slip today, so... I was preoccupied with that and completely forgot I was supposed to put up a video today, so uh, sorry for the shorter video, but hopefully you guys can understand, and uh, I'll give this a big no <laughs> on this game, so uh, this has been POD7 signing out for Hunt for Gems.